Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally doing it guys. I'm gonna have a full complete tour of my house plants. It's like 2 a.m. now, but I'm up, I'm in the mood, so I figured let me just do it now, get it out the way. So you guys asked for it, you're getting it today. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this is my bedroom right here. This is pretty much the partial overview where the plants are. Don't pay attention to that light, guys. Um, okay, we'll start over here. This plant next to the television is a Dracenia. I've had this plant for probably a year or two now. When I first got it, it was really it was a really, really small plant, guys. So this one grew a lot. Let me see, guys. Hold on. I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit. This room, the way this room is set up, is kind of hard to film in here. So this plant, towards the end of the window, hanging up, this is a... Siebel Blue. I just put this up here the other day, so that's holding on. This is a Scandaptus Pictus Silverian. So I had propagated this when I first got this plant from Logies. It was a very small plant with like three stems, so I just propagated it and I put all the stems in here like maybe two or three weeks ago, so Eventually the plant will branch out and get full. I'm not really too worried about that. Over next to it is a purple passion plant. This is my second purple passion that I do have at the moment. You guys know this is one of my favorites. Um, this particular one is not doing super, super well, but it's alive. Oh. The other one I have, I'm gonna show you guys, has went absolutely crazy. Next to it is a Golden Pothos. Uh, I've had this plant for a very long time. This basically started out as a little small starter plant from Home Depot. You know the ones that cost like $3.49? It was very little. I done cut this plant, propagated it, gave it to lots of friends, and I decided to just let it grow. I was actually kind of tired of it for a while, but... I decided to keep it, and I'm pretty glad I did. A little bit of browning leaves there, but it's doing pretty well. And right next to it, we have an Exotica. Try to zoom in a little bit for you guys. This plant right here, I actually found locally, and this big basket was only $18. They had two of them, I don't know why. I did not get the second one. I went back the next day. Of course, it was gone. So down here, I have Oxalis. The plant is actually closed now because it's nighttime, so the leaves fold at night. I have the purple and also green. So I got that around St. Patrick's time in the supermarket of all places, Stop and Shop. Next to it, I have a Bloody Mary philodendron. This was gifted to me by Robert. You guys remember that video? It's pretty, it's, it's opened up, I think, four leaves since I've had it. It's pretty easy. Next to it, we have a philodendron MB. Is it I M B E? MB, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, this is also getting ready to unfurl a new baby leaf. It's the first leaf that I had this plant make since I've had it. And this also was in the the, the um, plant mail from a friend video, if you guys have not seen it. And this is my old trusty aglaonema right here, this red one. This plant, when I first got it, 
it was not the most prettiest, but it was red, and I was starving, fiending for a red aglonym at that time. So my other one I had had died from uh, mealybugs a few years ago. So, but this plant has gotten so super red, and it recently just sprouted out a new baby down here. A whole new plant forming. This is how it is when it first starts, guys. It looks very plain, very boring, but with some good sunlight, this is what it will look like. Uh, next to it, I have this other aglaonema that I got from uh, Hertz Garden. I love that plant. Although it was not the plant that I originally ordered, they sent me the wrong plant, but I just kept it. Um, next to it is also another aglaonema. I got this from the supermarket. It was a small plant, but it was very super full when I got it. So this plant has been with me for years. It's definitely a trooper. It has so many different stems in here, and each of them are pretty different. Like this one, look at this one, guys. It's splatted, sp splattered. These leaves are solid. These are a solid color. Um, uh, it's more splattering. I've done cut this one back so severely. At one time, it was not looking good for a while. I think I overdid it that time. So I've let it chill for the latter part of this year. Next to that, we have a, what is this, the corn tree corn plant i have it in here because when i first got it it was it was smaller than i wanted it to be so i put it in the window so i could get full sun and get taller and also i've noticed when you have one a lot of times the lower plant somehow fades away and dies out so i wanted that lower part of the stem i mean that lower branch to get more strong before i actually make it a floor plant Next to that, we have a philodendron giganica. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, guys, but that's what this is. And that's also was in the plant mill video. It's actually about to put out a new growth. Behind that, I have a Hoya something. I don't know the name of this one. I think it might be a pubicalica. If I'm wrong, you guys can write it down below. Next to that, I have a philodendron burl marks. This also was in the, the plant mail video. Next to that, we have a few, a few little babies, plants there. Oh. These are doing well. These will soon get potted up. Then I have a Jewel Orchid. This Jewel Orchid came from Linda May in a plant um, contest I won a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago almost. So, And I've done propagated this a few times. This plant um, it looks a little quirky and weird. You know, it hasn't bloomed yet, so I'm waiting for that to bloom. Then a friend of mine's gave me some, uh, I'm not sure if this is sage, oregano, some type of herb. Uh, put that in Lekka, so just hold tight, guys. Hold tight. Okay, so we'll start over here. All of these plants right here are growing under this Russo light, which I absolutely love. So let's, get, let's start in the front right here. This is a Scandaptus pictus exotica. I got this plant from California Tropicals. They have a link on Amazon if anyone is looking. It was only $20. I think it was free shipping also. When I first got it, it was it was it was a skimpy plant. Skimpy, the leaves were wrinkled and everything. I didn't have much hope for it. The roots were not super well, so I repotted it, gave it fresh soil, watered it, and 
didn't really pay too much mind to it. Then it started to come together. So this place hasn't even been with me for that long, guys. But it's definitely grown. Over here is another Hoya. I don't know the name of this one. But it's, it's, it's grown probably about four leaves since I've had it. This also was in the video gift plant mail. Next to it is a Hoya Lisa. I mean, uh, Hoya Lisa. This is a Australis Lisa. This one I got from uh, the Etsy plant video, and this has grown four new leaves. Look at these leaves, guys. This grow light is definitely doing these plants some good. This little plant right here I have in perlite is a ruby cascade. And this plant behind it is unidentified. If anyone knows what this is, it looks like some type of creeping fig, but I'm just not really sure. So, yeah. If anyone could ID this, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so... Next to that, we have a eyelash begonia. I love this one so much. These leaves remind me of leaves that grow on trees that I've seen growing up. I'm not sure if it's a maple tree or an oak tree, but the leaves look so similar, and I just love how the leaves are shaped. This is one of my favorite begonias that I have. So next to that, we have a philodendron pedatum. I think that's what it's called. This is growing about maybe three new leaves since I've got it. This one, and it's putting out a new one. Behind that is a horsehead philodendron, philodendron um, bipenifolium. Oh, I remember some of these names, guys. Not all of them. And next to that is a philodendron panda something, but... They call it panda for short. This one has grown. Look at this leaf, guys. This has been grown in my care. And uh, this little one was the first one it put out. So they're actually getting bigger now. I'm going to extend the moss pole for it very soon. And, guys, this right here is a, uh, what is it? Oh, Palomina. I was trying to remember this name for the longest, guys, because I seen it. Somebody pronounced it in the video, and I said I have to remember this one. Anyway, when I got this, it was also in the plant, plant mail video. The plant was unrooted and everything, but I put it in Lekka and gave it water. Now the plant is really super rooted, and the plant is branching out like crazy. You guys can see all of that. So I'm loving that plant. Next to that is my um, Burl Mark Albo. So this, look at this plant. God, this plant has grown so much, but somehow the stems are really still short. Just, the stems are very close together. I want to propagate this, but I don't see anywhere where I can cut yet. Because everything is so close together. So I'm waiting for it to grow out a little more before. Look at these leaves, guys. Most of these leaves on the top are new. Look how pretty that leaf is. Let me see, I have another pretty leaf. And this one is a, what is that, a half moon? You guys can see that. Next to that is the aglaonema that I got from the Etsy order. This plant, I mean, although it's pretty, I was expecting more for $50. I really was expecting more, but it's alive. It's grown. I think it's grown zero leaves since I've had it. I think one was trying to come out, this one. So it came out kind of small because it was the shipping leaf. I see a new one trying to pop out. But maybe I'll like it in a little bit, but right now this is pretty... Mm, this is all right to me. And next to it, we have another aglaonema. This plant I won in Linda May's plant contest. And her, she have a monthly giveaway. Um, I won this plant maybe almost two years ago. 
And this plant was down to one leaf and I've got it to regrow from one leaf to this. So Linda, if you're watching, look at your baby, look at it. So beautiful. And if anyone knows her, Linda May, her channel is awesome guys, go check her out. This right here is a Asian violet. And this also was a part of the plant mail video. This plant has not done much yet. It's alive, hasn't done much. Maybe it's, you know, waiting for the right time to take off. And I almost forgot about this one, guys. This is a tetrasperma. So this one has grown about two new leaves. So if I add it, it's not getting the most light because it's towards the end of the table. I mean, it's growing though, so it's, it's adapting. So to the left of this table, we have this other table. This also has a Russo lighting. I hope I didn't say soul tech for the light. It's Russo lighting, guys. If you guys are looking for it, you can find it online under Russo lighting. Okay, the first plant in the back is a philodendron birkin. I bought that plant for $25 in Chinatown. I was in shock for this size of a plant. If you guys have a Chinatown where you live at, maybe you should check out. They have some of the nice, really nice plants there. This also was an aglaonema from my birthday treat myself video. This also was a $50 plant and the plant had three leaves when I got it. It rotted out somehow. It had a little, like an inch of stem left with a burly, a leaf onto it. And I was able to cut it. I didn't think it was actually gonna ever make it. I propagated it and it grew roots. It grew roots really quick because it was under my grow light. I don't know if that helped speed up the root development, but she came together, guys. She's alive. This is her first leaf since January, this green leaf. So next to that, we have my Squafarium, Squammy Firm. This plant was suffering from a little spider mite, but I treated it. I over-treated it, actually. I burnt a few leaves with the treatment because whoever knows me, when I do something, I overdo it because I don't want to deal with the situation again which was not the best thing to do for this plant. But anyway, it grew three new leaves since I've had it. Actually, this was the first leaf I put out, which is tiny. This is the second leaf it's put out, which was much way bigger. Look at this plant. And this is the third leaf it's putting out. It's unfurling now. So and you guys can look at the, the petioles. Look how red they are, guys. See that? And next to that is a aglaonema. Let's see, right there is a nanook, like a, a wandering Jew type of plant. I got this plant for $8, I believe. Also in Chinatown. Next to that is a philodendron brandy. This is my baby, guys. You guys know what this is. This is the Florida, the mint Florida ghost. So this is actually the first leaf it's putting out. Oh, it may come out kind of small because lots of times the shipping leaf comes out small because it's been trying to develop during shipping. So it doesn't really, you know, be as big as it can. But the leaf after is always much better. Next to that, I have my Taniki rubber plant. And I also got this plant in Chinatown. No, actually, no, I'm lying. I got this plant off of Etsy. It was just one stem. Um, right here is some type of the Shidia. Uh, it's in Lekka, it's growing really, really well. I've never had uh, the shit here before. This is my first one. This also was a plant up, a part of the plant mail video. So 
sometimes it's really great when people introduce you to things that you never, ever would buy yourself or just look over if you see it at the garden center. So I'm really happy I got this one. It's, it's growing steady. Although it's a small plant, it's, something about it is very dainty and, and super beautiful. This is the begonia. Um, uh, oh my God, I can't remember the name, but this was also in the gift mail plant video. So if you guys want to know the name, you can go there and find out. I forgot right now. This right here is a, is a Lisa Australis. Australis Lisa, Hoya. This is in Lekka. It's shooting up. I'm really not liking this empty stem like this, but I'll deal with it. This begonia needs water. Wow, that was quick. This is a begonia Kit Kat. I'm gonna give it water once I finish this video. As soon as I finish the video. As soon as I finish, you'll get water. Okay, then we have up here. See, guys. Sorry about the lighting. I thought it would be a little bit brighter in here over this area. This is the begonia that started it all. This is the autumn ember. So I'm going to pretty much breeze through this area, guys, because it's a little darker than I thought. But I'll just show you all the begonias. I'll talk about some of them if something really catches my eye. Oh, this one is one of my favorite also. So this is a begonia macarado, macarada. I can't remember the names right now. And this begonia is a begonia solar flare. Most of these begonias come from Logis guy, Logis guys. Um, just get into this leaf. Get into this leaf. Get into that leaf. Get into that. Get into that. Get into that leaf. Oh. Okay, sorry guys about the lighting. I know some of you guys wanted to see the begonias, but this is what it is right now. It's like 2.30 a.m. now, so this is what we got to deal with right now. So. The fish tank is doing good. So we'll look at that in the next video. Just to show it to you guys real quick. Okay. So this is the pultals that I got from South Carolina from a really good friend of mine. She picked it up for me, which was so great. I repotted it in this planter. And it's doing pretty good. It needs to... I'm going to get an um, extendable or make my own type of moss pole because the plant has extended the pole that came with it. But the plant is about maybe f three feet or four feet high. Oh, this is my poor Mikan. It was doing... It was growing well, but the leaves were super tiny, so I just chopped everything off. Chopped it to the to the base of the planter. And next to that we have a neon philodendron. I think no, this is not a neon. This is a lemon lime philodendron. Next to that we have another Hoya Lisa. I mean Lisa Australis. God, my mind is playing tricks with me, guys. My words, actually. So, next to that, we have a Manjula Poltos. So I had to treat this one for it had spider mites, so the plant may look a little dusty because I did treat it with Dimitaceous Earth in a spray bottle with water. I mean, the spider mites are gone. 
The plan is a little dusty looking. I washed it off, but it's still take a little while. I'm gonna keep washing it till it's all off. And next to that, we have my purple passion. Guys, just get into this. This purple passion has a jades and pearl portals in it also. But guys, I had cut this plant a few times this summer and gave it to a few people. Now, I cannot even believe how much this plant has grown within a month, a month or two. I mean, last time I cut it, I cut the mess out of it. This plant is huge, super huge. So, and next to that, we have another, what is this again? Neon Pothos. Okay, guys, um, let's go over here. Okay, over here we have a, this plant is a um, ZZ Raven. Behind that, that is a moon, what is that? Moonshine, Santa Vera, moon glow, moon something. Next to that, we have a um, anthurium. These are the pretty common ones you see. They have them around Valentine's Day. They have like a spade-like red flower or something. They come in purple or they even have a chocolate one actually too, which I haven't seen that only in videos. Next to that, we have another neon pothos and just a regular ZZ plant behind there. That plant has been kicking it, guys. It's grown so much from when I first got it. It's in one of my videos, maybe a year or two ago, you guys, if you want to look at it, see how small it was when I got it. So I also had split this plant up some recently, so it was a little less full than it is, but I actually like it better less full because it was taking a lot of sunlight from other plants. Okay, right here we have a, a, a lemon lime maranta plant. But it's closed up now because, you know, the praying plants close up at night. So just, you see some of the leaves, guys. I have the light on. So it's kind of tricking it to open halfway. But this plant has grown so much. Actually, just got finished flowering, which I hate the flowers. But I didn't catch this, this flowering, but these are, these are dead now. I didn't catch it. If I would have caught it, I would have definitely snipped it. Um, uh, next to that, we have a, uh, some type of begonia. This is another begonia here. I'm not sure of the name, but these are all cane begonias. And this is the next one, begonia. Behind that, this is one of my favorite aglaonemas that I have. I have a lot of favorites, but this plant I got from Lowe's. It was a rescue plant. It was on the um, the rescue bin, you know, the rescue bin that they have, the clearance plants. It was $5. Oh, this plant has been with me for a long time. If you guys go back to my Lowe's in Delaware video, you'll see when I got that plant. I have since... I actually lost three stems of it trying to propagate it. I was not successful. You know, we learn. So the plant was smaller than it actually should be. And I also planted it deeper in the pot because it was becoming leggy. And if anyone knows me knows I hate a leggy plant. A leggy plant is an ugly plant. Remember that, people. Well, no, in my opinion. Behind that... What is this right here? This is a Hoya. This was my first Hoyas that I got. Also in the next, in the, one of the first plant plant mail videos from a friend. Um, this is the Hawaiian purple something Hoya. Next to that I have a Calathea. I also won this plant in a contest from What the Flock Farms. I had this plant for it's, it's growing. It's, it's it's not the easiest plant. I'm not think I'll be interested in Calatheas 
anymore because that plant was very difficult to take care of. I'm keeping it because I want to see where I'm going to go with it. But it's very difficult, I must say that. And next to that, we have this is the philodendron, philodendron birkin that I got from, oh, was it Logies? Not Logies. Gabriella's. I did a video on it. This plant was the hardest plant to take care of. It had rotted away. If you water it too much, it, a leaf rots. If you do anything to this plant too much, something happens. So maybe when it's juvenile or a baby like this, it's very delicate. And uh, the plant almost died. I took it out of there, put it in LECA. It had developed um, spider mites. I treated it, treated it, treated it. And it was down to one leaf, guys. There's actually two plants in here from two different orders. This other one failed also when I was in soil. And anyway, each of these were down to one leaf. Now, in the process of like maybe four weeks, they have grown all these new leaves. I don't see any more spider mites. And it's coming back to life. So if you guys are struggling with your Birkins, if they're small, maybe try like a... It worked for me. Next to that, we have a, what is this one? This is a red emerald, aglaonema. I love this plant. I love it. And it also just recently put out a new stem. Okay, guys. We have a chocolate aglaonema there, which I got from Hertz. Everybody's been looking for this plant lately, and it's very hard to find. Hertz has stopped. I don't know if they stopped carrying it, but they haven't had it in stock forever. Uh, also, I want to take a second to show you these, these guys. Look at this. This is the, um, what I said this is again. This is the pearls and jade. So, look how big these leaves are. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. That is freaking beautiful. Okay, guys. Um, let me see. These pinkish ones right here. These two. This, this is um, sparkling Sarah Aglaonema. This plant is a beast. Now, this one I also got from. I mean, I got this from Hertz as wrongly labeled. It's supposed to be a red Valentine, but this is what they sent me. Anyway. It had two plants when I got it. Over one, two, three, four, five. It has put out five new stems, guys. From see, this one right there, another one right there. Let me see. Another one right here. A little teeny one right there, and. One, two, one, two, three, four. Four, actually, okay. And this aglaonema is a, what is this? this? is a golden papaya. I just recently got that one from the last month. I'm not sure if I did a video on that, that one, but it's one of my most recent purchases. And then uh, I have a, what is this? It's not dead, guys. Is this a, like, almost a black begonia? This was a, like a seedling when I got it. So I have it back here so we can get as much sun as possible. Then I have the tricolor Hoya. It's kind of boring to me right now, but hopefully once it settles in, I'll like it better. Then we have a, another red, this is like a fake Valentine one, guys. You see how this one looks, guys? This is how the aglaonema that I showed you in the bedroom, which I said is one of my favorite, the red, red one. This how it was when I first got it. It was looking just like this. The aglaonema is like, this leaf I really don't care for. And... Uh, this particular plant has not, it has not transitioned. I had it for a good while, maybe over a year, but it has not, it has not given me life yet. I'm waiting for it to transition and get beautiful, but 
may not be in your genes, girl. It may not be in your genes. Who knows? Okay, so this plant next to it is a aglaonema again. This is how the leaves first. When I first got it, the leaves were white and green. Very basic type of aglaonema. But I liked it because I don't have any other plants that were really white at the time. White, white, white. Now look what it's turned into, guys. You see how pink that is? Let me see. Get into this leaf. It's pink, pink, pink. Look how beautiful this is. So we're almost coming to the end of the video. If you guys stayed with me this long, thank you very much. And this right here is the Birds of Paradise, which I've gotten in the Home Depot haul. So, and I have one more plant to show you guys. So, this last plant is a... This is a princess. This is a Hoya princess. Crimson princess, I think. Okay, guys. So, do one overview of the room. And I would like to thank everyone for supporting my channel. And supporting me. So, have a nice day, guys.